Hello, so join me today where I zero in this Jag 2 Pro crossbow for a customer of mine. A customer of mine who lives um, not too far away from the shop um, came in a couple of weeks ago. He's having trouble zeroing this Jag 2 Pro crossbow. So, being a nice guy that I am, I thought I'd zero it in for him. Now, you won't get that sort of service uh, shopping on Amazon or some of these internet sites, um, only at the Buckland. Um, of course, come in, have a chat, bring a crossbow. If there's any problems, that's the sort of shop we are. So, this is a £170 draw weight uh, recurve bow, red dot sight. Uh, adjustable stock and really lightweight yeah it's a really nice tidy bow so the customer like I said is having trouble uh, zeroing it in um, shooting too low or, or couldn't quite get it on target so um, I said bring it in I'll, I'll sort it out for you right so um, first step is to adjust the sights back to factory settings so what I do um, inside there in the red dot sight you have three dots use the gauges to try and get that centered in the middle that's just our off point. There's no two ways about it. All you can do then is shoot a couple of bolts uh, to see where it's going, and then you can adjust it to suit after that. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah, we'll shoot a few bolts off, uh, get it adjusted, and then later in the video, uh, when I'm happy I've got it fully adjusted and uh, shooting somewhere near straight, uh, I'll set another target up, um, fill it full of water, and then we'll shoot a few bolts of that and see, see how that goes. Right, let's get on with it. So here's the range. It's roughly 30 foot or 10 meters long and because of the power of that bow um, I'm going to have to shoot it at the back of the tent which will give me another extra 12 foot um, being a 12 by 12 tent. Right so here we are now at the back of the, the tent uh, looking down range. So as you can see it's a wet and windy day today so um, I'm in my new Fortis outdoor clothing jacket and trousers. Brilliant stuff, UK made. Uh, made to order and uh, brilliant for all weather so uh, check out some videos I'm going to make uh, later on where I'll be testing this gear out now over the autumn and winter right back to the crossbow now before I load this crossbow the first thing I'm going to do is take a marker pen and mark the string you just see that each side of the rail that way when I pull the string back um, to load it I know it's it's in the right place. Now you can get into some sort of trouble with the crossbow if when you're pulling the string back, especially if you're doing it by hand, is it's not pulled back in the correct place and it'll shoot off either to the left or to the right. So to stop that, put a little mark, a little bit of tape or marker pen. So when you do load it, have a look down and then you can see then if, uh, if the string's been pulled back in the right place. Now, talking about loading, uh, with this type of crossbow, the Jag 2 Pro, you can quite easily pull this one back uh, by hand but as we're doing this to uh, sight it in or zero it in I'm going to use a cocking aid or cocking rope that way I know that uh, the strings pull back equally um, every time so these are quite simple really just hook these on the on the string and then this bit in the middle goes on the back of the crossbow usually below the sights and then once that's on you just use the handles to lever it up. Right, so uh, without further ado, let's load this bad boy up and uh, shoot some bolts. Right, so there's the first three shots um, before altering the sights. As you can see, they're all off to the right and slightly lower the, of the center. So we're adjust this now to the left, get that somewhere central, and then we're adjust for the height. Let's go and do that. Now to adjust it uh, left and right, take the cap off the adjustment dial. And you can see there, to go left, turn it to the left or anti-clockwise. To move it to the right, obviously turn it clockwise. Now you could use a screwdriver, but I just use the edge of the cap, put that in there, 
I'm going to turn it. We'll make a clicking sound so you can count the clicks. Or just gauge, so one full turn will move it about three to four inches. Once adjusted, put the cap back on. And we'll try that. Now with this type of crossbow and these bolts, we're shooting a, a 16 inch bolt today. Um, there's an odd colored flight on the bolt. That one goes inside the groove or face down. Slide them all the way in, take the catch forward and fire away. Yeah, slightly to the right. Put another two in. There we are, I can see they're slightly to the right and, and uh, a little bit low. But like, we're going to have a look now and uh, we can adjust that to suit. As I mentioned before, there's three dots um, in the site, in this red dot site. Now I'm choosing the top dot because we're relatively close to the target. If you're further away, um, obviously you just go down a dot and that will bring the, the sights up. And then obviously the lower dot for further away again. Right, let's go have a look, see what we've done. Now after adjusting the sights, it has moved a little bit to the left. That was one turn on the sights. So uh, I'll probably do the same again and a little bit more. That should bring us over to the center. So let's see. That should do it. Another sight. Um, you have a gauge on it from 1 to 11. It, this just has adjusts the brightness of the red dots. So depending on what the light levels are like, you can adjust this to suit. So we'll probably have it about halfway today. There we are. Now after a few tweaks of the sights, I brought this over um, more or less in the middle. The one is just slightly pulled, um, but yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, all I'm going to do now is adjust the height to bring it up a bit into the center. So uh, we'll do that next. So to adjust this now, just a few clicks will do it. Just put the cap back on. Now when firing a crossbow, please obviously be careful take all the safety precautions but uh, also don't forget to loop up your, your rail you know, the string um, not too much uh, that will help prolong the life of the string uh, and prevent wear and tear right let's get to it right let's go have a look at them So we've got the three bolts here now after I adjusted for height. Um, pulled one slightly to the left, but all three are dead in the, in the line of the center there. So I think that's pretty, pretty good. Good enough for me anyway. A um, couple in the yellow, so uh, jobs are good on. So I'm pretty satisfied now that's zeroed in. I'll have a few more shots. I've got another target where I'm gonna shoot with a bottle of water just to make sure that it is on target. Um, now that is set for me. Obviously when the customer gets it back, you will have to adjust it slightly uh, to suit his, his style, where he holds the crossbow and, and how he shoots, but there'll be minor adjustments, not, not a lot. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. So there we are, quite happy with that. Uh, pull one slightly to the left, but uh, two of them in the yellow, so pretty much zeroed in. Shooting from a standing position. Now if I want to be a bit more accurate, I could sit down, rest this on the table on a sandbag, and uh, get it spot on. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with that from a, a standing position. Now a bit of fun. Now I've got that summon here zeroed in. I'm gonna string a line up, hang a water bottle on there, and see if I can hit that. Yeah, so let's give that a go. Right, so I've set this target up now. Um, draw a little face on it, if you can see it. I haven't given him a name. Um, if you wanna give him a name, put it in the suggestions below. So uh, next job now is to uh, fire a couple of bolts at him and hopefully don't miss. Here goes nothing. Bullseye.
well there we have it guys um, threw it in with success as you can see the the Jag 2 Pro uh, for a customer of mine hope you liked the video uh, if you want to catch more videos I've done about the crossbows check out these videos here and maybe one there thanks for watching please like and subscribe and until next time all the best <laughs>